This isn't even about the president launching an attack if we're hit. Congress has given them that authority so they don't have to call Congress in. And people said that was dangerous, see where it leads. This is the president saying, I follow the UN and NATO. Okay? In fact, Jones doesn't even get it. It's worse than that. It's a foreign coup d'etat. That's why the president isn't allowed to do this stuff, because they could get an agent in. And they have. Oh, man. Whereas the cornerstone of the republic is honoring Congress's exclusive power to declare war, the cornerstone of the republic, that's right, the cornerstone of the republic. I'm going to say that again. The cornerstone. Founding fathers said that. And I'm reading military brass debating whether Obama can do this. How brainwashed. All you got to do is go read the Constitution, dummy, that you swore an oath to. The good news is most of the military is awake. Nine out of ten comments from the military I'm reading are just like totally awake. Whereas the cornerstone of the republic is honoring Congress's exclusive power to declare war under Article 1, Section 8, Clause 11. Let me say that to the military again. The cornerstone of the republic is honoring Congress's exclusive power to declare war under Article 1, Section 8, Clause 11 of the Constitution. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the House of Representatives, this Senate concurring. The Senate has now concurred with this. Okay, there's a Senate bill. Senate's on board. This is the sense of Congress that except in response to an actual or imminent attack, that's, that's ICBMs coming in, against the territory of the United States, the use of offensive military force by a president without prior and clear authorization of an act of Congress violates Congress's exclusive power to declare war under Article 1, Section 8, Clause 11 of the Constitution, whereas constitutes an impeachable high crime and misdemeanor under Article 2, Section 4 of the Constitution. And it goes on. No debating. No debating. No, no, no. There is no discussion. This is high treason and beyond. This is treachery. Because you can argue it's not treason if you're really a foreign agent. It's espionage. Obama, Panetta, the brass that goes along with this are all guilty of espionage by the corporate crime syndicate mafia known as the New World Order. And I've had it. I want our republic back. If they get away with this, what do you think's next? Secret arrest of citizens, shut down of free speech, all of it, and all the bondage that comes with it. And I've sworn on the altar of God, eternal resistance to these people. You're like, why are you getting upset? You men get upset for these times, not for going to some football game and getting angry. I'm skipping this break because I got a bunch of military officers and others calling in right now. Current Marine, Army, former retired officers, but I want to hear, we're going to go to you, but I want to bring Watson up here. <sighs> Watson, this is just, it's same thing in England, where you're at. They've signed over your country's control to the EU, and now they've signed it over to private banks. This is coup d'etat by banker. Obama launches banker coup over U.S. I mean, that, it, it, that's not words, that's what it is, Watson. How incredible is this? Well, Alex, I think they're going to use it, even if they have a battle over it. And, you know, you win the right to not have the UN and NATO in control of U.S. affairs, and they're just going to use that battle to then attack Syria without the UN. So you're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. We are, Paul. We must have called. Did we call your cell phone? No, it's the house phone. Let, let, I want to talk to you about this. I want to get you connected via Skype. I told him to get you on the phone because I wanted to tell you what I want. But your phone's really breaking up. Maybe back off of it a bit. Listen, we need to go with the headline and call this what it is. Globalist launch coup over U.S. sees war powers. Or, or, or globalist coup declares Congress uh, dissolved. I mean, because, you know, they kept the Roman Senate around for hundreds of years. But it just it wasn't there anymore. And, and, and that's what this is. You know, globalist, globalist coup d'etat, Congress declared completely ceremonial. I mean, we, and listen, I want the phone numbers of the House and the Senate, and I want to call on people to speak out against this. I mean, especially military officers that are, I mean, will they follow any order? Will they do anything they're told, Paul? Well, it's amazing. I agree. Well, the good news is I'm seeing the military comments all over the uh, different news sites, and they and they know it's wrong. But some of them are in there saying, I'm military, and the president is allowed to do this. And the UN, we've signed treaties, so the UN's above Congress. Congress can't sign away our authority. I mean, they can't pass a law saying black people are slaves. 
again, laws that are fraudulent are null and void. All these years, Paul, we watched the world government be built. Now they're launching it. But simultaneously, we're kooks to talk about it, even as it happens, Paul. The problem is, Alex, it'll be hijacked by all the neocons who will then say, right, now we've established the justification to attack Iran and Syria. We don't need the UN to do it. That's what they did for Iraq. So. Well, I mean, that's the debate there, uh, is that, oh, well, the, you know, the UN has said no to Syria uh, because the Russians vetoed it. And so now... They're saying that uh, you know, Congress is like, well, we don't need the authority. And they're like, yeah, but, but we need the authority from the international community because they've signed on to that. But the lawyer trick is to set the precedent that Congress isn't involved. It's just incredible. It, it is so massive. Paul Watson, um, we need to get, I know you're churning articles out. You've got the article out, Pentagon launches desperate damage control over shocking Panetta testimony. Uh, it's got all the quotes and the video in there. And it's got uh, Obama coming out and saying he doesn't need Congress anymore uh, with the White House uh, press release. Uh, but, but, but you notice even in the uh, Pentagon uh, saying that they're clarifying it, they, you know, they still imply they're getting the authority from the U.N. And that's what Obama said in his letter. Yeah, no, that's why he used to send a letter to Boehner, the Speaker of the House, last year saying, I don't need Congress, I don't even need to think about the constitutional question. That was his paraphrased quote. And he said, I get my authority from the UN Security Council. So, screw you, Congress, is basically what he said. And now they're doing it again. But now they're marching into Congress with the generals all lined up with wily looks all telling Congress, no, you have no authority when it's right in the Constitution. Well, what's amazing is the fact that Sessions repeatedly, five or six times, said, yes, yes, but let's establish that Congress has the authority and Panetta just would not acknowledge it. So then they had to put out this weak rebuttal today saying, oh, it was misinterpreted and then just restating the fact that it wasn't misinterpreted is exactly how he said it. Well, it's total, it's total treason out in the open, and if the military, I mean, I better see the military go public. I better see everybody in the military should shoot YouTube videos. It's your right and duty to hold up the Constitution and say Congress funds and directs and tells the president what to do. He then becomes commander-in-chief, and you can read what congressmen have said, that this is a high crime. You can read, and then let them try to go after you. You watch, they'll probably try behind the scenes to threaten you. Let them. I mean, how do you men and women go into combat and get given deadly shots and, and run up hills with a machine gun nest and all of this. But then when the country's in trouble, will you morally just say, I'm not going to be part of this treason? I, I mean, it's that simple. Look, I'm, and, and, and don't say, oh, no, Alex, we could get in trouble. Folks, what do you think I, can happen to me? You just saw him kill Breitbart. My gut tells me they did. The evidence is there. You've seen all the other dirty tricks. They're trying to, you know, destroy Limbaugh right now. They're trying to arrest Rupert Murdoch. Not that those are even great guys, people like Rupert Murdoch. The point is, the old guard's getting thrown out. The new time's here. And we got a bunch of globalist, revolutionary criminals that are, you know, engaged in all sorts of crimes, doing everything they can to bring this country down. And it's now time for people to put up or shut up. If you won't stand up to this, then just get ready, folks, because the sky's the limit. Paul Watson, when's the next big article coming out on the uh, 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 public coup uh, launched? Congress declared uh, ceremonial. Ob uh, Obama and UN declare Congress ceremonial. I, I mean, it it's it. I mean, the country's gone. If, I mean, it, that this is it. There's no debating. And, and watch. Notice all the censorship starting right now. Notice all the talk of secret arrest is starting. Notice the drones are in the skies and the army's on at checkpoints and TSA's everywhere because they're getting ready to blow up a bunch of stuff, folks. False flags and blame it on domestic groups. It's here. It's going to happen. Re-education camps. Everything. Paul. Yeah, it'll be out as soon as possible. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks, Alex. All right. There goes Paul Watson. All right. Let's go to the military calls here. We've got uh, Sergeant in the National Guard, Dante. We've got TJ, retired officer military. we got Nathan, North Carolina, current Marine. we got Zachary, current National Guard. And we've got others coming in. Uh, military, current officers especially, but 
former officers to give your constitutional fact or statement, uh, current people, what are you going to do? I, I mean, I'm, I'm here saying call Congress. I, I'm here telling the military stand up and just speak out. I mean, this is brazenly illegal. Who do we go to first here? Um, who's been holding the longest? Let's go to Nathan, who's a current Marine. Uh, Nathan, what is your take on this? Or are you as concerned as I am? Or, or is it good to have the UN openly telling Congress it doesn't matter? Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Oh, my God, Alex. This is so crazy. I'm, I'm totally agreeing with you 100% that I, I had hoped this day wouldn't come. I've been following you for about a year now. And every day it just gets worse, you know, to the point I've stopped watching every day because it, it's scary almost. I've been watching about once a week on the show and, and stuff like that, and it's, it's terrible. And um, I, I feel uh, really small. There's not much I can do, you know. I tell everybody I can, but other than that, there's really not much else I can do. And I hope, like you said, that, um, that it turns around or else this is going to get bad really quick. Why do you think they would have Panetta and the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the chairman come in and over and over again say, no, the U.N. gives us the authority for war? I mean, you could debate the president. Obviously, that's illegal. But now they're saying the U.N. and NATO? I mean, this is incredible. This, this is really scary, Alex. Like, um, when Libya happened, I, you know, I was all over that. Like, you know, obviously, that's illegal. It's, you know, it's, uh, you got Obama got the, the Nobel Prize for Peace for that. Can you believe that? Anyways, um, yeah. It's sick, it's, sir. Well, so you're a current Marine. Are other Marines concerned? Um, a few of them, yeah. It, uh, it's, it's not something you can really talk about um, unless you're behind closed doors here. But, yeah, I have a few supporters. But, I mean, I mean, what if the president says start taking the guns? There's a point you're going to have to speak up. I mean, look, if the president says he gets his orders from the U.N., is your, is your chain of command the United Nations soldier? That's what I'm asking you, Marine. I will not ever fire an American citizen. I, I will never do that. If the order ever comes, I'm gone. I will not but, but, I mean, that's order. the point we're at here, where they're saying the U.N. gives the president his orders, when it's the Congress gives him his orders. I appreciate your call. Look, it's time to start bare minimum blacking out your face, you know, in shadow and doing YouTubes and talking about it. But, I mean, what are they going to do to you if you publicly say the president gets his orders from the U.N.? I mean, you can't follow his orders. He's an open foreign espionage asset. It's a coup. Those aren't words, man. This is happening. The senators couldn't breathe. They were, oh, I'm having trouble breathing. I mean, this is this is this is hardcore. Let's go to uh, TJ, retired officer, and I'll go to current military. TJ, your take on this. Alex Emery is TJ, and I'm a retired Army Staff Sergeant, not an officer, but I've been an embassy liaison. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's what it said on my computer screen. Go ahead, sir. Okay. You're a great signal corps. You are the Signal Corps officer, but we can't win this without combat arms. That's armor, infantry, air defense. When we get these spray planes out of our sky, when we meet at every meeting in bellicose fashion, face-to-face -face with the county commissioners, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and remember this, UN says on, and they are done and on, and I'll be fighting them on the 27th of March in a formal meeting. And I hope I got friends with me, but you got to have more in a signal corps. You got to have combat arms. When That's right. People Lord, have to be on the ground in the info war as Paul Revere is everywhere pointing out the open traitors. The traitors are trying to hide it in plain view. More calls straight ahead. Stay with us. We're on the march. The...